Right. What's up, YouTube? I'm back with the Stanley Parable. Last time we played this, we made it to the end. And I don't think that's the true ending. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was... We can just clip, click to skip that. We've already seen that. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, so here's our first chance to defect. So let's go this way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, we gotta get a coffee first. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <laughs> drinking it all in. All right. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. It is really worth it. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. What kind of message game? Don't wait around anymore. You have anything else to say to me? Yeah, let's move on. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took so the amazing. first open door on his left to get back to business. Oh. Do we get back to business? I think not. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> if you're lying right now, stop. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. They will charge me $5,000 if I jump off the cargo lift. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by you. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration yeah. for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Suck it. Danger. Danger. Ever. <laughs> Do not stand on this side of fence. 
Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Hmm. What about this door? Mmm, sake. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley what? walked through the red door. What? I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley <laughs> walked through the red door. Red. I don't know. I don't know if your cues are strong enough, narrator. Oh, oh look what I found. Hey, hey, hey. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken <laughs> rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, mm. Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh. Yeah, you'd like me to go in this door, wouldn't you? What? Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. So, does one mean great or bad? You didn't tell me. I could say one, that it was a one experience, one star, or it was number one, the best. Like, I don't know how to rate. You know what? Just middle of the road. Oh, of course. A three... Really? Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? <laughs> Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can do that? <laughs> yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. You've added a leaderboard? Wow. Only the worst 3% of the players chose the blue door. This is me. Wow. Can you get any ruder? Friends list empty. Man, savage. So, wait, I don't even remember which one I went into. Did I go in this one? I think I did. Let's go in this one. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Free. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Sure. Let me boot it up. Oh, gosh. In this game, the <laughs> baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. 
But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Yep, I hate babies. Level, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. You hear? Yeah, heard it here first, folks. Casimir hates babies. Well, oh, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A oh. game I had absolutely nothing to do with. I Is hate Minecraft. Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I can't jump. Take it this out. will go here. No. Here and then let's see what does it need. I uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes. Oh, a door! It's complete. Another I door, know, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. You know what? No. Nope. Nope. Nuh-uh. Nope. -uh. I need, like, a pig or a sheep to beat on. Have I got some bread? All right. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Yes, yes. I mean, that is the basic premise of Minecraft, is to build and then build again. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? It's scary. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Okay, new game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, <laughs> trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. I got a clipboard. Sweet. Puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're forty. I got a box. Genius. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt you're any wise. 
Yeah. Filing cabinets go here. Beta, work in progress. I didn't let him finish talking. I feel bad now. I just jumped through the hole. Yeah, like a flashlight. Can't see anything. Oh, jeez, I fall? I don't know what's going on. It's dark down here. Hmm. So what do we? Look at these doors. Four, two, three. Oh, there's a light on down here. And this is this is getting eerie now. Four two seven. This is my office. What is up? I'm not supposed. To, I don't know. What am I doing? <laughs> What's going on now? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Oh my. Well, I think we're going to end this episode here. And it looks like things have changed around. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.